I was probably quite affected by it. I, I'm really, really happy. This was where it all came together for Bill Shorten. It's 2006, and Shorten is at the pinnacle of his union career, keeping the nation informed through the traumatic rescue of two trapped miners. I'm just glad it's over. I'm so glad it's over. It's not funny. The following year, he rides the wave into Parliament, becoming Bill Shorten, the politician. He's even been touted by some as a future Prime Minister. He has the support of some towering figures. If Labor is in opposition, who should lead it? Well, obviously Bill Shorten. I like Bill Shorten. But politics particularly inside the Labor Party, is complicated. There's a lot of people who put their trust in you and I think that it's only under Kevin Rudd and Labor will they get their fair share. Kevin Rudd was a very good Prime Minister, but I think you'd have to live on the moon to think that this government wasn't off track seriously in the last few months. Do you need to explain to Gabriella why you're not the uh, best person to lead the Labor Party? Because Julia Gillard is the best person. OK, Julie Bishop. I thought that was just your audition then, Bill. No. <laughs> I haven't seen what she said. But let me say, I support what it is that she said. Surely you must have your own view on this, Bill Shorten. And I support what our Prime Minister has said. But you don't know what that is? Oh, I'm sure she's right. I support Julia Gillard. I have and I continue to do so. I support the Prime Minister. I think she's done a great job. I continue to support our Prime Minister, full stop. I believe that Kevin Rudd being elected leader tonight provides the best platform for Labor to be competitive. But I shall be putting my name forward to be the leader of the Australian Labor Party. The scrutiny from media and his colleagues is intense. You've got a credibility problem, of course, now, after the way Julia Gillard was treated. Bill Shorten said that he was 100% behind Kevin Rudd when he was the Prime Minister until he stabbed him in the back and replaced him with uh, Julia Gillard. Then he said he was 100% behind Julia Gillard until he stabbed her in the back and replaced her with Kevin Rudd. You couldn't trust Bill Shorten that uh, he would do Julia in. And political enemies abound. The Dr Gables of, uh, of economic policy. Bill Shorten uh, is an economic girly man. The leader of the opposition is the Mr Potato Head of Australian politics. He's the Mr Potato Head, you can put whatever oh, face member, you like. The I'm member will resume his seat. I think he's got irritable Bill syndrome. I think that... While Shorten has delivered some cutting zingers himself... The government's used the term Team Australia a lot. I'm worried about the emergence of Team Idiot. Big brave Joe Hockey. This foghorn leghorn of treasurers, these people opposite, are the cheese-eating surrender monkeys of Australian jobs. Sometimes he's also tempted to hark back to his union roots. We will build ships and submarines in Australia because we love this country! Yeah! But lately, there have been problems there too. Bill Shorten is expected to appear before the Royal Commission into Trade Union Corruption. Labor has accused the Abbott government of using a Royal Commission for a multi-million dollar smear campaign. Shorten says the story claiming he didn't represent workers properly when he was the head of the Victorian AWU as a political smear. And the more we learn about his past, what's in store for Shorten's future becomes less clear.